Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm going to talk all about locusts, locust swarms. Grasshoppers are normally, you know, solitary uh, creatures, but under certain conditions, um, they get aggregate, aggravated with each other, and they're, they basically change their behavior. They become extremely aggressive, and they go into these massive uh, swarms. So I'm going to talk all about the connections of climate change to locust swarms, basically. It's an interesting topic, and it's one, I must admit, I don't believe I have any videos up to now on on, on locusts. So there's always new things to, to, to uh, talk about in relation to climate change. But basically, we know with the abrupt climate change, the, um, the, the Arctic is warming extremely quickly. So the temperature gradient gets reduced between the Arctic and the equator. So the jet streams slow down and become wavier, and therefore we get a lot more extreme weather events. So the extreme weather events in certain parts of the world are tr heavy rainfall, torrential rainfall in desert-like areas. Or also in the Indian Ocean, the warming of the Indian Ocean, the West Indian Ocean is happening at a higher rate than just about any other part of the world in terms of ocean warming. So there's a, there's a parameter called the Indian Ocean Dipole, which goes into the positive state. So the Western Indian Ocean warms a lot more than the Eastern. So what it leads to is the air over the warmer oceans, you get more convective uplift, you get more hot rising air, laden with moisture that pulls the air from the east over so you get these winds moving to the west over for example uh, east africa and you can get um, you know lots of rainfall and this rain inundates uh, some of the desert areas there or you can get more cyclones forming in the indian ocean dumping rain on the coastlines and that water lying in desert areas is a perfect environment to stimulate the growth of these grasshoppers and their numbers can skyrocket. You get some grasses and uh, vegetation growing in these desert areas after these inundations. So there's a food source so you can get these locusts building up in these regions and then leading, that can lead to swarming behavior. So this has been ongoing um, in parts of East Africa but also in India and in Pakistan and in, um, in some other places. So I'm going to talk all about the connections of these locust swarms to climate change. Okay, so this is just, uh, if you go to Google Images and you just Google locust swarms, um, these are some of the examples. Um, the the uh, numbers of these uh grasshoppers um, in these swarms can just be you know number in the billions and billions and it could actually block out the uh, sunlight so this is just some images um, just want to give a little plug to my uh, website paulbeckwith.net and uh, some of the um, recent videos where I've talked quite a bit about the Arctic and the Arctic sea ice loss and please consider making a donation to my PayPal account to uh, support the work and the videos uh, that I do and, and the research that I do. So on Twitter, if you're not following me, go to at Paul H. Beckwith and follow me. And um, I did a tweet here. Um, I retweeted this where it's not just in Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, Uganda, and Pakistan. Climate change is to blame for plague-like locust attacks in India. You know, it's destroyed 170,000 hectares, 420,000 acres of crops in two affected states. Okay, so if you look at that article, um, there's uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat, uh, two states. And if you bring up uh, Google, Google Earth, and bring it up and you can look at India here and we're talking about these particular states in India 
Um, so what happens is, just to give you an, an overview, the Indian Ocean Dipole, you get a very warm sea surface temperatures on the western part of the Indian Ocean, uh, surpassing temperatures on the eastern side. So, the air, so, so that creates a westerly uh, a flow of air to the west, westward. And because of very warm temperatures, high evaporation, you can get rainfall you know, over these dry desert areas here. And then you can get the, um, some, some vegetation growth and perfect conditions for the breeding of these grasshoppers. And then they, the numbers go way, way up. They skyrocket. And these things can then start swarming. And they can then cross Iran and come into India. Um, in, into India. There's also some deserts in the western area of Rajasthan, um, and excessive rainfall there has caused, um, because of extreme weather events, has caused uh, locusts to these grasshoppers to breed and, and creates sort of local uh, locust uh, uh, swarms, if you like. And of course, these things can devour their own weight in a day, and um, they can basically land on a farm and eat everything, eat everything, including the all of the foliage on the trees and all of the crops and all of the rest of it. So, so um, climate change to blame for plague-like locust attacks in these provinces of India. So erratic rainfalls in the deserts of the Middle East in 2018 created conducive conditions for locusts to breed, is the article. So basically, in these two Indian um, regions, crops have been destroyed over nearly 1.7 lakh. Now this unit here is 100,000. So 170,000 hectares of farmland. Um, and there's actually a meeting, a, the Center for Science and Environment. They're having a meeting right now in India um, discussing the environment. And they say that, you know, everybody knows about the Australian bushfires, but not many people are aware of how climate change is causing havoc among Indian farmers by creating conditions such that these uh, locust swarms are occurring. So uh, 88 so so this the way this uh, notation the way this number is set up this is 168,548 hectares that's the way it's written um in you know in India um so 88% of this farmland has been affected by these locust swarms and the, there's been a severe crop loss of more than 33% in these regions um, so it's basically a plague-like situation. Um, there's a desert, they're called desert locusts, um, and there's a locust circle office, if you like, um, and they're saying that the it's the cyclonic patterns in the Middle East in 2018. You need to understand that to understand what triggered the locust attacks in India. So rainwater is gathered in different parts of the arid desert that sprawls across Saudi Arabia, Oman, the United Arab Emirates, and Yemen after it was hit, after it was hit by Cyclone Makuno, Makunu in May 2018. And this created breeding conditions being favorable. So basically cyclones came ashore and there were torrential rains in these desert areas and that allowed the growth of some vegetation and the breeding of locusts, the, uh, grasshoppers. And these grasshoppers aggregated and formed the swarms, which then came across into India. Okay, so that's the chain of connection. Okay, um, in October of uh, 2018, the Arabian Peninsula was hit by Cyclone Lubin. So cyclone, two cyclones, one in May, one in October, and that created more favorable conditions for locusts to breed. So then in search of more food, these locusts flew eastward towards Pakistan and India. They come very suddenly. You know, this insect is dreaded by most farmers across the world. The swarms are so thick that they even block the sunlight. 
Now, locust invasions are normal, but the current attack in India is a plague-like situation that they've not seen before. Pakistan's declared a lo um, locust invasion a national emergency in Pakistan, and there's a separate swarm that also originated in the Middle East that's made its way to Africa, triggering fears of food crisis in the region. So we'll have another look at the map. So you get these locusts breeding here and here. Some of them are moving this way to, through Pakistan and India. Pakistan declared an emergency. India has suffered heavy damages lately. Other locusts, a different swarm has moved southward and they've declared a locust emergency in Somalia as well. Okay. Um, now, normally these swarms retreat by November every year, but there was a delayed retreat of the seasonal rainfall in India, the monsoon. So, they were so the Thar Desert, which borders India, which which enter part of it is in Pakistan, parts in India, has been favorable for locusts to breed. Um, in June 2019, the Indian side received rainfall. So basically, climate change is turning some deserts into watery landscapes. Lizards that normally prey on the locusts are not found abundantly in desert areas, so the swarms build up. Now, farmers spray lots of pesticides to try to protect crops, but it's, this has is, this is not only harmed the harvest, but it's also failed to keep the locusts at bay. Okay, so I'll come back to this map quite a bit. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, Wikipedia to learn a bit more about locusts. Um, I must say this is a big learning experience for me as well. So locusts are basically, there's basically a species called short-horned grasshoppers. This is just grasshoppers. And these insects are usually solitary, but under certain circumstances, they become more abundant and change their behavior and habits, becoming gregarious. Okay, there's no distinction between the grasshoppers and the locusts. I mean, basically, when the grasshoppers start, when their behavior changes, when there's too many of them, then, um, so if there's, if there's drought, followed by rapid vegetation growth, so conditions of drought, and then there's extreme uh, rainfall, so there's rapid vegetation growth. Serotonin in the brains of the locusts um, can trigger a dramatic set of changes. They start to breed abundantly, they become gregarious and, and nomadic, or so also you could say migratory, but it's really nomadic. So their populations get, get dense, and then they form these bands and um, they basically swarm and they they're powerful flyers they travel great distances the wind carries them they consume most of the green vegetation wherever the locust swarm settles um, you know they formed these so-called plagues since prehistory you know um, ancient egyptians carved them on their tombs they're in the iliad the bible the quran Swarms can devastate crops and cause famines and human migration, okay? Um, and basically, uh, so there's you know, millions of swarming Australian plague locusts, um, okay? Um, so here's a desert locust, desert locust here. Um, so basically, um, when there's overcrowding, they start to swarm. It says increased tactile stimulation of the hind legs causes an increase in the serotonin in their brain. This causes the locust to change color, to eat much more, and to breed much more easily. Um, there can be, you know, the, the transformation of the locust to the swarming behavior. It's like a phase change of the locust. Solitary grasshopper, swarming grasshoppers, which are called locusts. Um, so several contacts per minute over a four-hour period, and that can stimulate enough serotonin. They become very aggressive. They start to swarm. You can have populations of up to 80 million per square kilometer. Um, there can be billions of locusts spread out over an area over an area of thousands of square kilometers. Okay, so you get these outbreaks, and then they join together into upsurges, and then they join together, and you, and you get them breeding from different regions, and you get plagues, basically. 
Okay. Um, 